Three-factor ANOVA is a very useful tool for engineers to use when they're designing a process or product. ANOVA is used to measure the effect of certain independent variables on dependent variable, in this case measuring the effects of three independent variables on one dependent variable. There is some background knowledge that is useful to have before performing a three-factor ANOVA. Confidence intervals are calculated to show how confident we are that the true value lies either above a value, below a value, or between two values. There exists a certain risk of whether or not the ANOVA leads us to the correct conclusion. These risks are that we reject a null hypothesis that may be true, or we fail to reject a null hypothesis that is false. One and two factor ANOVA provide the basic logic behind three factor ANOVA and how to carry out the process. Experimentally, the independent variables may or may not affect the dependent variable. In three factor ANOVA, you are trying to measure the extent of interactions not only of the independent variables on the dependent variable, but also between the independent variables themselves. Let's look at an engineering application. Say we have an experiment to measure how certain factors of vehicle affect the reliability of its brake pads actually working. In this experiment, our independent variables are brake pad material, the average speed of the car, and the mileage on the car. The factors can each be split into two categories. The material can be ceramic or semi-metallic. The average speed will be measured at 0 to 39 miles per hour or 40 to 80 miles per hour and the mileage will be measured at zero to just under 40,000 miles or from there to 80,000 miles. We must then create some hypotheses. The null hypothesis states that the means of each factor are the same, meaning there is no interaction. And the alternate hypothesis is that at least one mean is different, which lets us know that there is some kind of interaction taking place. We will use the regression analysis in Excel to approximate three-factor NOVA. First, create a chart with all of the calculated data. This data would usually be gained experimentally, but was randomly generated for the purposes of this video. Each value in the chart represents a brake pad reliability at the given conditions, and each column or row shows the result of keeping one factor the same while varying the two others. For example, the column under B1 shows how material and mileage vary while speed is kept constant between 0 and 39 miles per hour. The highlighted value 90 shows what happened when the material, speed, and mileage are all kept at their first condition. After using Excel, a similar table will be generated. The probabilities in the P column are not all the same, showing that the means are not all the same. Therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that some interaction does exist between these variables.